<laughs> I swear me, asshole! <laughs> Uh, so, and this is why birds are jerk. I, 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 really. What? Yep. There you really? go. Really, really. Yep. That was it. <laughs> Just yep. a fucking charge shot. I went through yes. all my goddamn weapons, and that's all I needed to do. Correct. Yep. All right, let's. I am so fucking ready to get this game done. Let's go, Denna Games. We are finally in the Dread Zone. We are in the Dread Zone. Oh, beautiful. Welcome, oh, everybody, okay. to my true Dread. This is going to be a trip. Uh, and today, the driving seat is going to be for Ed, who has never seen this game before. And we've been trying, trying real hard to get everything blind. Yeah, but you know, I, I went out of my way to avoid looking at anything related to this game. Mm -mm. I, I have been successful. I was gonna wait. You have not been successful. No, I have been. Oh, okay, fan fuck. Because I was like, wait, you're usually good at like avoiding spoilers, <laughs> like fucking matrix dodging shit. So if something spoiled you, I was gonna be real mad. No, the uh. so. I mean, I think someone inadvertently said something about something that I honestly don't remember what it was because it was like two months ago. And fucking tastic! I love to hear it. But it's like you know, you know when new stuff comes out and there's all this like, oh, come read this review and or here's this thing or here's this video. It's like nothing. Oop. No like sale. not even. You know those article titles that spoil everything that's in the article? Well, it's like, none yep. of, not even that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You fucking Matrix dodged all those, like, like freaking spoilery clickbait articles, videos, whatever. Good job. And now we get a payoff. Y'all. <laughs> got a payoff. All right, well, we'll, we'll have to see. So... Whenever you, whenever you folks are ready. Go, 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 go look, do it! Let's go! Ooh, brightness adjustments. And, and this is why I, I basically just said go, 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 because they're, they're settings. <laughs> well, some character creation. Until the image is bare. Oh, jeez. Holy crap, I've really got to turn my brightness up. Yeah, that's actually that's yeah. Oh, wow, your console's really dark or something. Because fuck, that is dark. That's, yeah, that's. I want to blame my TV, honestly. This the the TV I'm using to play is really dark. You, 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 you can't ambient lighting. You can't blame the TV for one reason. I know, I know. We could barely see the sign on the left side yeah, when you up the brightness. Red mode. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, and tell me what's what's involved into that, but I'll leave that for the end. Uh, you'd probably love it. You'd go for it. Ah, oh, you would go for it, you sick fuck. <laughs> you know it. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Oh, man, we know. Oh yeah, like yes. the music kicks up. It's right. It's bringing back the Super Metroid vibes. I mean, that that I I feel like I am back with the Super Nintendo right now, and that no. is right now that is fantastic. The X Parasite. A, gel a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. 
it could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. Ex-parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. A devil Wolf Hunter. Wait, I'm going to read that before I make sure there's no spoilers. Um, <laughs> hmm. Well, okay. You know what, Devil uh, uh, Wolf? going to throw this out there. Some languages have a single word for what other languages describe in multiple words. The best example I have of that is the German word Schadenfreude, which means for your own pleasure at the misery of others. It's a full English sentence described in a single word in German. So, Metroid, Ultimate Warrior, done. I mean, do you, do you know the real reason why the game is called Metroid? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's because originally Samus was supposed to be a robot. Uh, yes. And the underground area that uh, the, the planet was based off of the local metro. Oh, that makes sense, actually. What? Yes, the, 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 they took inspiration from their local metro system. Basically, what you're saying, system. though, is if they'd been British, it could have been called Tubroid? <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Well, the, the British called the metro system the tube. I, I know. <laughs> All I'm saying, okay, is if the team had been British, we'd all be clamoring at Tubroid. Boy, I get a feeling they'd be a different shape at this point. Boy. But you know what, though? I can absolutely see the, like, Metro layout. Yeah. 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 Look, we it, it's literally corridors with areas going up and down that are all the same and yet slightly different. Yep. Left right, left right. All right, well, uh, with no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. Ah, yes, blood fusion. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biologic space laboratory's BL. BSL research station, it's yep. bullshit research station, uh, to investigate a distress signal. Hey, at least it's not a bottle ship. And you're not wrong. Ah, yes, yeah, evil Samus with those fucking eyes. Yep. It's the X. There. I battled many powerful X forms, including the Say X. Or sorry, the S A X for Yali other people, <laughs> uh, which was DX mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually I mean, eliminated DX menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, DX and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Man, that looks, uh... It showed an X. Alive and in the wild. Yep. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet.
<laughs> you know what, Wolf? You're not fucking yeah. wrong. Where would that look? It was called ZDR, and if X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. Gonna be real though, I love the Emmy design. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. I mean, they look like big walking mosquitoes. <laughs> yes? Oh god! The, mm, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be real. I love her new suit. Is this a new suit? What is... I mean, it's... The color's a bit different, and they changed a bit of the design. Like, the, the chest plating didn't used to have, at any point, I think, there was like two green lines on each side. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. You know, you'd think sooner or later Samus would be like, nah, I'm done with your shit, I'm out. Yeah. That was the pin crew. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, though, like, at this point in the game, technically, if we combine the, the story of Prime and every other game up to now, the Space Pirates are dead, the Metroid are gone, like, what major threat is left, you know? So Samus is like, oh, fuck, like, expedition to somewhere and I happen to be immune? I guess. Sounds like an easy paycheck to me. Right? I'm starting to look at the ship lease agreement to find out how to get out of it. The bounty for this mission does not seem appropriate. Hey, welcome to new voice of uh, Adam. Yep. Ah uh, yes, go faster to enter atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we have a problem. Yeah. 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 Some of you might be wondering how I got in this problem. <laughs> that elevator leads to the depths of an undercover facility. Signal quality is the very low. Remote communication for the is Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, the can in contact. Many objections waiting.
Hey Samus, how does it feel to get warped? Some people were kind of iffy with the uh, the blue, white, and red like suit that you currently have. I actually like the color scheme. All right, mm. I am not a fan that I can't use the D-pad. Wait, you can't use the D-pad, really? The uh, I'm pushing left. Oh, uh, you want to check your options, maybe? Um, the question might go back to what options? Try L and R. If there's any other options. Yeah, Maybe there. Like within. Okay, Wolf. Gotta be real. Do you the... mean that you you have a problem with all the colors, or you have you're okay with everything? <laughs> Okay, I get glad you caught on, because I was real confused there, because your sentence sounded like you were upset with all, no issues with any of the colors. Okay, cool, we're good then. Excellent. Yeah, it you... look like I can change... Uh... Oh, I don't remember that. Now, I will be honest, I don't, like, I, I played for the game, I beat it. I don't feel like it was a major issue at any time, but, so. uh, like... Because I'm also a big fan of using the D-pad when it's like a... Um, 2D platformer? A 2D platformer, yeah. But well, I, I use... I, I can just say this. I am not... What in the... Huh. Alright, Joy-Con, you want to stop doing this? Sounds like it might oh. be drifting, Smitch. Yeah, that like if if what I think is happening is happening here, yeah, it sounds like it's a bit of drifting. You might want to switch controllers or something. I don't have another controller. Oh crap! That's, That's not... uh, yeah, that I don't is... have. I, I don't have anything. I see. I'm not touching anything right now. Oh yeah. That That's big drifting. Yeah, that, that's pretty intense. Uh, hey, but you know what? I'm gonna be real with you. If you want to go get yourself a new controller, it's gonna be on me. Let's call it a Christmas present. Yeah, we got some funds from the from the den, so from the gate, so maybe an idea. Oh yeah. Some of that for the controller. That might not be a bad idea, honestly. It replace some valuable hardware. <laughs> Because, okay, well, uh, um, yeah, we'll figure that out, but, uh, shit, yeah, okay, if you're, you've got some drift going on, that's not great. No, it's gonna make, uh, playing this a little difficult. A little, very difficult. Hello, so you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Great, more physical changes. <laughs> oh. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. Not great! Your assailant, I am checking the Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a close -up. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. Okay, it's another thing that's supposed to be extinct. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZPR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport. Connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach 
the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Track it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Yes. Okay. I mean, this, so, um, this is okay. the worst I've ever seen the drift when yeah, I played the game. That's really unfortunate that, like, just out of nowhere, it's suddenly showing up mm -hmm. this hard. Um, uh, as a side note, so you know, Adam is like, hey, uh, show up like at any and all uh, stations you can so we can keep communicating. Of course, the speedrunners did everything in their fucking power to avoid that. Of course. Well, he's saving time. Just X. Okay. Yep, yeah. yeah, counters. I fucking love the counter ability, honestly. It was introduced in the Metroid, like, in the Samus Return remake, but it was refined in this game, in my opinion. Indeed, and actually has rewards for using it, too. Are you trying to wall jump? Yeah, I somehow made it up there before. It's... It's a little different than this one, I believe. You just need to hold the... You don't need to... Copy move to the other side, if I remember correctly. You just need to hold against the wall and hit the jump. If you remember correctly. Yeah. Um, also, I will point out that what Wolf is saying, like the, the attitude that Adam should have is on point there. It's like, Adam, I told you the risk of this mission was too much for how little uh, they're paying us, mm -hmm. but did you listen? No. no. <laughs> That's great. I fucking love that energy. Uh, That's the AI? Yes, yeah, please. He clearly, Adam doesn't need emotions yeah. voice to proclaim sass. Correct. Oh, okay. It's tutorial. That's what happened. Yeah. Indeed. Yep. Let me just show you some of the functions. Oh, and you get the check points, like, well, flags you can set up on your map rather than just drawing yourself. You need to find a way to shoot somewhere. Quickly. Ah, there it is. You get the left. Oh, look. I've been staring at it this whole fucking time. Knew that's what they, like, we needed to shoot. I just was gonna, gonna say shit until he asked for help. You know, yeah, that's, that's my fault. That's my bad. It's like I knew there was something there, I just had to find it. Yep. They're not gonna soft lock you in a game. Not this early. Not intentionally. It's an Emmy. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Game over. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. Yeah. That, that's Congratulations. The if it takes a bite, then yeah, you're dead. Just a nibble, you know? Yeah, world's deadliest mosquito. So V, you know you were saying about them looking like mosquitoes. Uh-huh. You might want to start playing keep away with the mosquito. Yeah. But mosquito bites are fun. 
regular ones, maybe. I think that's the tutorial counter. I don't know if you can miss that one. <laughs> oh, it wants to play. So do we. It's gonna be real, those little bug things flying away reminded me of Hollow Knight. <laughs> You know, and I'm glad my uh, initial thought on that thing that attacked you at the beginning was accurate. That it was a Chozo. <laughs> Man, that looks like a Chozo! It is Chozo. <laughs> Into the Omega Cannon. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. Yep. Congratulations on busting its chops. Yep. <laughs> yep, yeah, easy oh, come, easy go! Do that like twirling arm dance move. Uh, that's how you do it. It helps with uh, taking aim at something. Also, physics! Yep, welcome to physics land. Oh, oh, oh. The door. didn't think the music would affect me this much. <laughs> okay. It's not coming back, isn't it? It's just, it's got that, like, subtle, eerie vibe. It froze me for a fucking loop, brah. It's... It's what be? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh look, this one isn't a broken piece of scrap. Yeah, no, time to go. Time to run!
I'll work around. I was gonna say fucking run, boy! Okay. Pookie boy, I, yep. I, I didn't think I'd get secondhand anxiety, even though V's probably cool as a cucumber right now. It's me after all. No, you're pre you're pretty accurate. This is kind of. I'm still trying to get used to the controls. Yeah. That, okay. That you know what? Yeah. That is fair. That that makes me feel slightly better. The, the fact that you've got anxiety that means that me having secondhand anxiety is valid. And no, I, I don't have anxiety. You were you were right the first time saying I was oh. cool, cucumber. Oh yeah, okay. Well, you fuck you too, V. First, you Samus, I can no longer reach you. I have a big head, tiny arms. I don't think they want to slide through. Y you broke up for like the her first half of your sentence there. We oh, heard. I have a big yeah. head, tiny little arms. I don't think we've thought of it through. Correct. Hey, we get to talk to Adam. Uploading data. Both any you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been back. If so, it's reasonable to assume all any will be hostile. Emmy sent out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy's own exits. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit, evade the enemy, and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. An enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Yeah, go, go figure. They decided to go survival horror. You know, seven capable uh, women combat. There are times when she's just not enough. Those doors remind me of the Doom movie. Yeah, I can see why you're saying that. All right, I need more fall or whatever equivalent. That's got to be more fall. Who am I kidding? It's Metroid. Uh, no, it, it's rat mode. <laughs> it was rat mode. I mean, come on, guys. It's obviously rat mode. Uh, perfect, really. And is it this game, if I remember correctly, where they don't allow you to just consecutively wall jump against the same wall? It's the way it seems. Yep. Yep. They just think, uh, of that.
you uh you, you kick too soon. Was it too soon? Yep. If you see okay. the kick animation, it's because you actually pressed too soon. Okay. I mean, it's like I don't want to figure out the timing. If you press too late, there is no kick animation, and you just get stung. All right, there's something that may not be obvious about Emmy countering, but I'll refrain from saying unless asked. And yes, Wolf, uh, I agree with you. I think I'm sitting on the same information you are. If you want to send me a DM, actually, man, uh, just to see if what you think it is and what I uh, I know it is uh, are the same thing. Like, uh, if, we're, if we, I just want to see if we've got the same info, basically. In wavelength. Yeah, if we're vibing on the same frequency, you know? Only you could go that way. I'm sure I'll be able to soon enough. Maybe. Find the way. Although now I'm back where, I st where we started this whole Emmy chase. Yeah, you can't, uh, jump off the same walls. Nope. Be proud about that. They understand their own physics now they've seen how people play with it and well. Alright, that's cool. Oh, unfortunately, I was uh, answering Wolf, because, okay, so Wolf pointed out something, and although I knew what they pointed out, it was not what I was thinking of, so there are two different things that we were both thinking of, and we're both correct. It's just more information, there's so many details in the game. I'm, I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. Eat. I mean, I've only seen the thing do a, the attack, what, three times? All right, you can't wall jump in water, noted. Yep. Ah, uh, yes, dem water physics. Right, mental puzzles, go figure. Hey, we got a map! Woo! Hey. Oh, 
Was that safe? On the map, yellow rooms are saving facilities. The purple room contains transportation devices. Delightful. Um, yeah, I, I was leaning back and stretching so I couldn't read it because I wasn't at her, like, Wait, sadly my, um, my eyes were, like, half squinting too, so it wasn't great. <laughs> uh, and you were too lazy to get back up, huh? No, I was mid- I was stuck in stretching animation. <laughs> Missiles. Missiles. So, uh, V, did you read our, like, our D intro message that was, uh, I set up? No. So, uh, I'll read it to you now since it's no longer a spoiler. Uh, we'd be lying if we said we didn't dread starting this game. And if Raven sounds genuinely scared, give him an Emmy for that acting. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> okay. Uh... Samus, run! Yup. Scream, Samus, scream. But didn't you know, we're in space, no one can hear you scream. Ooh. I dislike your statement, but I cannot disagree with it. Good job! Fuck, that was solid that timing was... right there. <laughs> Are we playing ping pong? I mean, yes. Ping pong, legendary edition. God, you should not have escaped that. <laughs> I call fucking hacks. You should be dead, sir. Yes, you absolutely should be dead if it were not for fucking nerves of steel. Nerves of steel, reflexes of gods. You see, this is why V's the talent around here. Correct. And this is why we don't let V play too much, because then it just look boring as he, like, just <laughs> airily breezes through shit. <laughs> It's like, ooh, look at me, I'm V. I don't care about the horror elements about this game. They're boring, really. God. No, the atmosphere is fantastic. Oh, you can react a little, like, instead of just starfishing to horror. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just in awe of what's going on. You're in the moment. I see. That's, that's a little cold. Yeah, yes, you are chill. stone cold. That's what we've been saying. Like, Samus should be taking fucking cold damage from you just because you're controlling her. <laughs> Let's right, see man. what you did there, Captain. Okay, so we're gonna damage boosting, hell running, or is this is this even hell running? I mean, it's like, you know, frozen frozen over hell running, sure. But there is seemingly, by, by certain people, there is a gold hell that is eternally frozen. Let's get freezer burn. Oh, hey, by the way, they introduced this in this game. I hate it. Ah. Uh, so yeah. hard. Welcome to heart tanks. Ugh. Yeah. Not Can't have some have too many heart tanks, right? Oh, uh, all right. Welcome to going the wrong way. That's fine. Uh, Samusicle edition. <laughs> Sorry, Stamsicle. There you go. Bad touch, bad touch. What's the safe word? 
there is no save for it. I get, at, how often does this auto save? Uh, fairly often, honestly. So I'm, I'm assuming I got to keep that energy tank part. Ah, uh, you can find out by going in your menu, I think. Yeah, you didn't keep it, don't think. On your map, it'd be good to tell. Well, yeah, if, if the map doesn't show that you explored the area, then you definitely didn't keep it. Yep, there it is. Okay. Now, Oop, me, dodging, there it is. All, me dodging all of that was luck. Correct. I disagree to believe otherwise. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, using the joystick to aim straight up is a pain. Yeah, yeah the aiming yeah. mode might help more than that case. Hey, we finally got the beat bot! Hi, Home from beat. work and in time for the dem leaders to fear the Emmy dread. Miss Samus has lots of ground to cover, but surely self-defense can protect her and the offspring. The offspring. Oh god. Okay. I, I'm gonna say this though. This yeah. is cool. This is what? It is. She's holding the edge of the wall with her hand while aiming. Yup. Yep. Look, yeah. there's so many fun little textural details like that. Like, like environmental, like, responsiveness. It's fantastic. Also, um, you know what, uh, BB, I'm going to springboard a little something off of what you're saying there. Uh, my bird's got a girlfriend and he hates that bitch. He tells me every day. Uh, all right. Uh, target B. Hey. Oh, yeah. You got the bigger buster. I'm charging my laser. There's only three beams? Oh. Well, Ravens, thanks for taking me back to high school. I agree, Wolf. It was also my high school <laughs> years, so you're welcome. If you trust the menu, there's only three beams. Uh, yeah. Fair. I was gonna say, do you really want to trust the menu on this? When has the menu ever steered you wrong in a Metroid game? Never, but it has sometimes omitted information until it became relevant. Eh. Not common. Possible. Oh, stuck in my head. You're welcome. I won't pay, I won't pay, no, no way. Not until you get so, a job. Uh, uh, to, to my knowledge. Yep. Did you know that was the first time the Osprey got a parental advisory sticker? Really? It was for that single. Uh, you know what? I'm not surprised, though. I'm absolutely not surprised. And hey, energy tank acquired. You know, not not for all the albums where they, you know, drop a bunch of F-bombs and stuff, but a single where the where they, the swearing isn't even considered all that bad to typical standards. Oh yeah, absolutely. But, but for some reason, people got really butthurt regarding the subject of the song. Hey, wonder why? Now... I will put this out there. There's a po small possibility that the reason people got offended with it is because it used a word that, funny enough, although isn't that bad for swearing, isn't usually used all that often. The word yeah. dick does not come up that often in music. True. Got wrong? 
And, like, the, the worst part is, is I do, like, I personally really enjoy the fact that the second, uh, is it Refrain? Um, like, the second the half verse? of the song? Yeah, the second verse. Like, they switch the gender subject of the song and that yep. makes it feel a lot more equal no it's you know it's not just uh, some like them complaining about a woman it's them complaining about shitty partners um uh, not the second verse but the very last one i believe because there's about three two or three of them where it's the same guy and then suddenly at the end of it she, they switch over to her regardless i'm just pointing out that what they say on one side the, the the fact that near the end of the song they switch genders is mostly to showcase that they're not targeting a gender, they're targeting a shitty partner. Yep. Unless you're talking about nicknames for Richard or particular presidents. Ha 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 ha. Fair Ouch. enough. Alright. Fair enough. So they're talking about so they mention in the game that yep. the Emmys are like they do they hear you correct they don't allow you to walk correct that i don't like um so let's put it this way it, at least this is the way i saw it walking doesn't fix the problem so if walking doesn't fix the problem you may as well run but they don't give you the option to like walk silently past the enemies to, to not be heard. They don't allow you to stealth. Hey, you know what? Maybe they just didn't think about it. Like I like I was yeah. trying to think of something to say to defend the point, but I realized, you know what? No, I'm not gonna defend this. Sometimes devs just don't think about this shit. And, and I will admit that that may be an issue, and it may be a concern that they don't give you access to stealth. I just, I, I got nothing, man. I, I legit got nothing. I see something back there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, what? There was something Stop in the me. background. Stop what are you all. talking about? I didn't see nothing. I didn't hear nothing either. I, I'm sure you didn't see nothing. <laughs> I don't <laughs> thought no green, blue, glowing lizard thing. What do you take me for, some conspiracy nut job theorist? Where's the tinfoil? Where's the tinfoil? Look, I always have a Costco sized tinfoil wrap thing, so I'm good to go at any time. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say this a stealth based game for Metroid would be kind of cool. I mean, just gonna throw this out there. Been there, done that. Uh, it's called Zero Mission. I would say a little bit of a fusion too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like Easy bit with still. the SAX, like just walking around and you going like, oh god, gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta well, hide. I mean, like a full blown stealth game. Oh yeah, yeah. Like basically, see, you know what? If you wanted to do a hard, she loses her all her powers, fucking reboot, would be. The goddamn suit gets completely destroyed. We are talking like beyond salvageable while she's like in a mission and then she just is on her own in her zero suit in hostile environment with no way. Like there's no, oh, eventually my suit will come back. It's, I have to survive until I can find a way to start fighting back. I would be down for something like that. I would be so down for something like that. It'd be cool. Metroid but yeah, it's a crossover we never had. But right. Wolf's right. It's never gonna happen. Uh, you're right, Wolf. Like, I'm sad, and you're right. 
but my god, it would be glorious. Like, just lean into the survival horror, you are a weak baby facing army, like, aspect of the Metroid series. Like, would be so good. So good. Um, okay, so here's the fun thing, Wolf. Uh, I'm fairly certain we've already done Zero Mission. Uploading data. We did Casual played Zero Mission a while ago. Yep. However, there are records of a Tozo Warrior tribe. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. You have seen the Warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the enemy after you? The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged to lure you in. The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You have activated the magma supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. Oh yeah, like they, they absolutely did do that. You employed against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. Uh no, like Adam is full reverb all the time, B. There's no going back. Want your brain to rattle when you listen to ad.
And it, no, am I just cursed with Metroid games? Maybe. I mean, the only Metroid game that I've been able to play in clear, I think, has been Super Metroid. That's true, eh? And that one only took me, you know, what, two hours? Sounds about right. <laughs> on, um, like... Is everything working now? Is everything working now? That's weird. Oh, that's the most concerning right, bit. Back. Hey yo. Yeah, my my. Uh, I mean, I, my kid was sent home from school yesterday because he had a fever of like a hundred and one. Oh shit. And then. You know, we've decided, okay, you know, he's, he um, seems to be feeling better, but we'll keep him home again. We can hear you, Polk. Them to do. Yeah, um, we're also still alive. I haven't actually done a reboot. Oh. oh. Wow. Like, I put my computer for a little moment, then suddenly my microphone said, oh, sorry, you're disconnected suddenly. I tried resetting my small side board, my, uh, all of that here, and it still wouldn't pick up the microphone. Then your audio started sh shouting out, and I tried doing various things, was about to do a reboot. As soon as I close Google Chrome, it comes back. Oh, lovely. What weird. the fudge? Yeah, that's super weird. I, I got nothing, so so we saved the reboot. I... All right. Sorry I guess... for the troubles. Did, did Dr. Wiley figure it out? Yes, Dr. Wiley sobered up and finally found out what was called the issue. The answer may surprise you. No, no, it won't. It, it might have involved, involved alcohol. All and right. as I was saying, it does not. Alright, we're back. A dinosaur story. <laughs> So, uh, the path that's rebooting the West, so fast, you didn't even notice it rebooted. It was so, f the, the computer rebooting was so fast, the computer didn't even realize it rebooted. Uh-huh. Just waiting on Exodus at this point. If he's really go crazy. If you get instantly warped out of time, uh, and just boom like that. But then by the time you finish your adventure, you're warped at the exact same point in time and in the exact same state pre-warp and you're not aware you're going to warp through time. Did you really go have an inter-time uh, inter uh, adventure? Maybe. I mean, I, I, I think the answer is in the veins of the, the, the you know, one thing with the cat in the box. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or there was that one little uh, theory uh, experiment that we did, where if you had a, a magic bus that could take you anywhere in space and time at any point here, but the travel from point A to point B would last a thousand years, where you could not die, you could not eat, you could not do anything beyond that. You're just experimenting, the, experiencing the whole travel of your time. But when you got to the other side, you completely forgot every single involvement about it. Would you do it? Oh god, I'm not sure if I would or not. I remember you had the evidence!
Hmm. Anyway. There are six remaining enemy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. Well, thanks, Adam, for, you know, letting us know how shit weak we are. I was like, this is a huge roll. I quit here, There. Now I at least have that map looked at so I can. This is where you don't complete uh, human jobs with AIs. I was gonna say, you, sir, are playing with fire. Yes, I know. You I like sure fire. Fucking pyromaniacs, man. Fair, convincing illusion. Yes, it was. It was worth concerns. There's just one thing I don't remember if it was ever stated or not. But if it was, it would freak me to fuck out. Is the if the Emmy's tracking algorithm, and I'm talking like when you're outside of the range of them like earing you. Oh well, cutscene. Now I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you, the floating eyeball. While we're waiting for you to either pass or fail the test, the mention of uh, Schrodinger earlier and me being me it has made for a horrible con like combination that I must share with the world. Uh -oh. Of course. I'd like to propose the weirdest fucking porno out there, where the whole thing is divided into a split screen after a certain part of the movie. Because it's Schrodinger's pussy. Dude goes out and makes a decision. And you get to see both sides of the decision happening simultaneously. In one uh, scenario, he gets laid, and in the other, he doesn't. So then you get in the box. I mean, in one of the scenarios, yes, in the other, no. Get a 999 BS is that? Oh, wait. The pornographic kind, I just said so. You know what? Yeah, yeah, that's on me. We did too easy. <laughs> okay, the wolf is like, that's not where I thought you were going with it. I thought you were gonna go with it gay and straight. You know what? That's even better, wolf. We should absolutely have a gay and straight split scene. Absolutely. Oh, but like... 
Okay, back to the Omega Cannon. Yup. Alright, we use this by aiming... Pushing R, holding R, what? I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, it tells you. Yep. Oh, neat. If you ever wanted Samus to have a light machine gun, this is it. You know, one of these days, I want to... One of these days, I just started the game. I do want to figure that out. Figure what out? The timing. Indeed. Well, I can tell you right now that there is a very precise answer I can give you regarding the timing. Just let me know when you want to hear it. Uh, at any point, really. I don't care. Hey, V, buddy. Yep. You, uh, have you bothered reading the bottom text? No. I figured as much. Gotta focus on the, on what's in front of him. Let's not go that way. Yeah, that that sounds like a bad yeah. idea. Man, it's... I have to find time to read. I'm not a fast reader. Ah, okay. I have to do the one thing. And then I charge and shoot. Yep. Exposed. Probably not what you thought your first movement upgrade would be. And at least <laughs> someone can do. That's neat. Indeed. Correct. <laughs> to be fair, Wolf, did, like I'm, I'm gonna just throw this up there, man. You may have missed the fact that the door you need to blow up with the Emmy stream is the same shape as the armor-plated Emmy head. Yep. Fighter Samus. Uh, 
Spider Samus, Spider Samus. Because we got her an Aaron can. Can she cling to the walls? Of course now, she can. Now you can do the... Yeah. yeah. But Same only wall. on the blue thing. More miscalls. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Now let's see what's down here. Shortcut, okay. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, the monster door you gotta play chicken with. Great. I hate it. Under. There was a red glow to her legs. This is gonna be good. Oh, it better be. Ooh. That was, uh, yeah, that was a good dodge. That, not so much. I always feel like this boss is like this really weird cross between a lizard and a scorpion. Yeah, yeah, I can pretend that. And, and you know, well... Ooh. And it's also part convenient. Yup. You could even say uh, it's got quite the sting to it. Yeah. In a pity you're not getting a trace sting out of that one, though. Unfortunately, that stage does not contain any armor either. It doesn't, you're right. Strongly recommend a dose of counter. Badass. 
And the thing sounds like a dog when you shoot it like that. It, it kind of does, you're right. is just showing off. Yep, With cool girls off look explosions! Ooh, cloaking. Yeah! Something, something, uh, walking? Something, something stealth? Yeah, no, that's, uh, good. Cause I'm stealthing on sunshine. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. And don't it feel good? Beep, 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 me, beep, 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 beep. Oh, yeah. Sabi is so boring and inexpressive. Someone that never played Dread. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she doesn't need to say a single word to express something either. Correct. Right. She moves. That's the way she walks a walk. These boots are gonna walk all over you. That was a neat little boss fight. It mm. really is. Something to be a simple surprise you're able to beat it, but. Nice. but yeah. It kind of totally eyes you to your new feature. Except, you know, oh. you need to go on the upper path. But he didn't know. Now he knows. I have to battle old G.I. Joe. Whee! Alright, um, give me five, ten minutes. Just need to go to the bathroom and I will be right back. Hey! Yeah, I know, I've been here already once. It's just a little toasty. Debating how much hell running I want to attempt. A good question, isn't it? It's dangerous as usual, and, uh... You only have one health tank, so I, I'm sure you'll be fine. If it was anyone else that questioned the sanity, but it's you. I mean, you're not questioning my sanity. I'm what questioning sanity? that sanity. Well, I guess that's true.
All in the timing. Alright. New zone. Indeed. It's really Katar. Katharsis. Black. Katharsis? There is a place a clear a clear signal of a place that's a little too hot right at the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that elevator. No! Oh, it's missing is some little che cheerful elevator music. Very fitting. Also, there might be a lot of dead space. What the heck of a crossover? Dead space and Metroid. Yeah, that is one crossover I personally would not want. <laughs> Would fit, but I mean, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Can it up, folks? This seems like a place I should not be. Bits. Uh, no. Alright, while we're stuck loading, I'm gonna go get a drink. Wait. So happy to have seen the game come out. So good. Good. Here we go. Not looking so good. Yeah, it helps fine. See, I'm almost at full health already. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed. Okay, and it does say whether it's been acquired or not. That's nice. Indeed.
Yeah, that's a whole lot of quality of life. Without making things too easy either. I'd find out where the progress is. Great, the quest for progress. There's a progress, it's not here. Well, it's not in that direction. That wasn't there before. Yep. There wasn't. I'm wondering if I'm missing something somewhere. Oh, I mean, obviously. And I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks. So, um... He was just wondering feel... if he was missing something. Well, no, oh, really? I, I know I'm missing something somewhere, but... What it is is a good question. It is a question. See, what I was going to say on my end is um, I feel like by this time we've seen a certain animation. Uh, considering, if a memory serves correctly, we've seen it. Have we, uh, if you, Polk, I'm gonna send you a question just to make sure I don't accidentally spoil it. Okay, so yeah, we, we, you've seen the elevator animation. Yes. Yep. I, okay. I, like, it is such a simple transition animation, but I love it so much. It's so that is really neat. I, it lit, like, among many things video games have done to make transitions and loading screens better, it, this is one of the simplest, yet most satisfying ones, I feel.
potatoes, that's just, just what you need for the mood. I, I was mentioning for a moment that he could have used some elevator music, but no, that, that's really what I've gone against the mood. Oh, yeah, quite possibly. Are you trying to shoot the heat away? Yes. Ah, ah. I think that might not be effective. Well, we have potentially, potentially acquired an up- Nope, never mind. Ooh. So Ouch. close, yet so far. You know what I forgot to do? What? A death counter. Oh, yeah, that would have been a good time. Uh-huh. I know I already missed a few mosquito bites, so I may have to go back to it. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Or, no, you know what? If Kestrel wants to watch the VOD from the start, she can start a death count for us. Do she? Do she? she she's gonna take notes, right? Or. Okay, my one question is, am I missing something obvious? I couldn't tell you because I, I missed a chunk of what you've been doing. Okay. Save point. Save all good. I considered it. Because I can't go... <laughs> can't go this way, because there's no. a thing there. Same thing there. Mm -hmm. That goes to heat. This is blocked by the same small gap, and this has a weird thing that I couldn't destroy. Have to get the TV to go to the other section. There might be another option, but I don't know. But I don't know. Seems like the most place. open location you've got. Alright, but this goes to heat area, this goes to heat area. And I don't remember seeing a gap that I could slide through. That's fire condition.
Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe just a little bit. Doing better. Although today, I'll blame it on sleep deprivation. That sounds like no, a acceptable statement. Yep. There, I'll be right back. You know what? That's one way to go about it. Yep. Uh, I wanted to mention about what uh, Warner Brothers did with the uh, Robin Kennedy movie. You may, it may have been mentioned. I don't remember it. I don't remember being present. Okay. Um, what happened? Uh, well, part one is that they had the whole uh, Robin Kennedy versus Acme movie all admitted, all voice, everyone ready, was ready, quote unquote, to go out out there. And the higher ups of the WB said, Yeah, no, we're canceling it. We're not releasing it. We're making a, a tax cut instead. Sorry, we're making a what? The, the kids, they, they had planned to cancel the, the release of the movie because they thought it wouldn't, it, nobody would watch it or they just want a tax break out of it. What the actual fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I said, though, part one. Mm -hmm. Part two came the backlash. Oh, oh yes, uh, and just as an extra here, not only were they not releasing it, but they were not allowed to sell it either. Wow. But then wow. came the backlash, not only from the fans, but simply from other people trying to make projects with them. Said, yeah, no, cancel our meetings. Wow. Okay, so basically, people who were like, "Wow, if we make something with you, you're just gonna eventually cancel it without even releasing it," which is bad uh -huh. for us. So fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah. And part three was well, seen recently. They're they're just in dealing with big people like uh, Netflix, Apple, uh, Prime, trying to release it. Hmm. Yeah. But. Uh, it was already bad enough when the the bad girl issue happened, like the they canceled the bad girl movie. But now wow. that it's a repeat offense. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And hey, Very, it's been a while. Hey, Vertasu. Uh, glad you could be oh, here yes. for this dreadful event. It sure is dreadful. And B is currently playing it blind and a little lost. Pleasure to have you here. Okay, so I'm gonna be real since you just walked in. Um, v is the worst person to be showcasing playing this because man is cool as a cucumber and doesn't <laughs> give zero fucks about having a goddamn Emmy sniffing at his butthole the whole fucking time. Austin, but I did nah, That's impossible. Well, yeah, that would and never happen. They have a map in where you go. You've got the navigator, but you got to do the whole way. Mm -hmm. uh. I think the only thing that's a little sad about Dread is that quite literally. I never remember any of the names of the, of the areas. 
Now, they're pretty. How can I say this here? Random. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Non relative. It's technically not required. But you know, the worst part is, is like. The same could be said about Super Metroid. Meridia is a name that, although it sounds vaguely Spanish or Latin, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just some random word. Yep. That kind of sounds like a first name, like Maria or something like that. But except for that, like, just, eh. Yeah. And yet, we were... Welcome back, V. Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt you. No, it's all good. I was just it's saying good. how all of the names in the uh, for the areas in this game sound like I can never remember the name it, the area names. Yeah, for God's sakes, just counter them and be done with it. Why? They die so much faster. Meh. It's so fun! I thought fast was fun. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me like fast things are not fun? Uh, I believe this is the case where the customer is always right. In a matter of taste. Okay. Right. So yeah, I'm not seeing anything here I can do. Well, um, why aren't you going to the right? Ah, uh, sorry, that's, to the left, I mean. That's a Heldor. Oh. Okay, that is a Heldor, got it. Yep. Mm, yeah, I'm it's not really seeing anything right. we can do either. Yeah, because this is the Hold War. I mean, I just need a platform or see if it's a global block or. This is not, I tried. I don't remember if the game requires like a Hell Runner 2 or something. I don't think so. Because normally when the game brings you to a place, there should be a thing you're supposed to do, like... If you arrive there organically. Climb to the spider, nothing to stealth path. Nope. Fucking weird. Well, you know what, V? You just gotta do it. You just gotta run through and ram it in. You weren't in that way on purpose, I see. Oh, that's liquid too. Oh, that's yeah. liquid heat? Yeah, you're not going that way, for sure. <laughs> yeah, there was the same liquid heat on the other side too, so hey! Deep right Samus. Uh, and nothing on the right, on the left side? Good question. Fucking hope with the rescue. Hee <laughs> Sometimes you have to ask. Yeah, okay, you're gonna actually shoot them after you counter. That's no fun. I'm not even sure what I countered when I countered. What if you see the spark that happens, like there? That's ah, what okay. If that happens with all kinds of enemies, when you see that spark, it's a moment to counter. Gotcha. What's that look ominous? Ominous? Fuck that! This is oh, item! Yeah. This is great! CPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. 
I have located the central routing system for the magma. It is here in Cataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Cataris. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. Um, about that. I have a channel <laughs> somewhere mm -hmm. above here. Use it to find a path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Cloak ability. The Phantom Cloak prevents the enemy from detecting you. Plus part, your only option was to run. Now, bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Note that using the Phantom Cloak severely decreases your mobility, and direct contact with an enemy will still result in capture. It is up to you whether to hold your position. Just be aware of your surroundings. The Phantom Cloak is useless. Once an enemy sees you, you will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. The Phantom Cloak can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival. Ha! <laughs> oh, very Tassu, you're so right about that statement. I totally agree. <laughs> oh yeah! Now you got to say about that. He learned from the past, you know? The AI you know learned from the human's mistakes. But there's also the fact that we know from Fusion that this AI cannot ride the ship alone. Technically, she, she's got the car keys. He knows that fact. Yup. She just have to shoot herself. Ha uh ha. -huh. Shoving our arm into a hole. Shove it in, shove it in. Glad shove it. Do it Samus' way. say it's too much work hey look if you want to keep doing it the way you're doing it that's fine at least you tried it's too much weight to wait for them to counter Nintendo saw how Dark Souls was doing things and so on and Joy. 
Joy indeed. Joy to the world. Narf, 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 this narf. <laughs> yeah, it's colorful. Got it coded for your convenience. Bad touch. It's nothing, just a box. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, we died. You are dead. Dead, dead. Hopefully the checkpoint and the loading system is really relatively quick. Especially for the Emmy sections. Okay. Is he gonna die a lot? Maybe I should fix that. I'll be right back, I think. I get you good. Gestral just got here, so I'm gonna pop out for a minute. All right. I she'll pop in when she feels like it. Yeah, that was almost bad. Feels about the game so far. It's uh, it's so pretty solid. 
he's not, he doesn't enjoy the fact that he has to use a joystick to move around, but and he's been adapting. Scary. And, and he took it to his first boss uh, without the death. I'm not surprised. Again, V is the talent around here. <laughs> Uh, it, what you did miss, though, was uh, some deft maneuvering. Yes. Uh oh. He's been very do dodgy and in the best way. Interesting. I'll have to watch the start of the VOD for, uh, for that. Indeed. And if you could do a favor here when you do that, uh, can you take a tally of all the deaths he's had? Sure. Does because I kind of forgot to do a death counter. See, I was just gonna ask, like, is it zero? <laughs> no. No! Oh no! Let's no. so just say he had a few mosquito bites along the way. Mm. That was a double counter. Okay. Hey, you know what? At least V is not flying at... Uh... Oko on his first attempt at this game. No candy yeah, mode. Yeah. Thank God you can't. Because I'm and sure you would have attempted it. I would have considered it, yes. It's <laughs> not for your first time, please, I'll keep at you. Counter is so satisfying. That's too much of a hassle. Well, I find it satisfying. <laughs> oh, that sound. Um, that used to be my notification sound on my phone, the, like, Emmy <laughs> noises. And, uh, Raven <laughs> really <laughs> didn't like that. Which is your big wreck some PTSD. Talking more the pressure plate for the door. Mm. Ah, yes. That's the first time you see one. Yep. What do you think of her uh, new design for her suit? It's interesting. <laughs> what the fuck? What? You jump through its like detection cone. Wouldn't be the first time. Up. No, I wasn't. Oh. No, he like I even watched a replay on Twitch because I was like, did I blink and miss V so, being invisible? But you, nope. You, you know when I said deft maneuvering? Yeah. Also, That's if this is not a callback to Ridley's mouth, I don't know what is. Uh, it also showed that kind of design in the assignment to turn on it, yes? Yes. Q! 
Yep, yep. A bit too hot under the collar. Everywhere else. Yeah, you do have the pseudo script action. Which I like that they brought that back. So you there's our morph ball. Overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. Study it comes study in carefully. It and would come in so late. There are risks even here. The phantom cloak reduces your mobility and consumes more alien when you move or shoot. It is still your best chance at survival. Do not hesitate to destroy an enemy whenever you discover more unique energy. This was not one of your original priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Hmm. Well, you heard the box. I also really like the movement of the Emmy. Just like it's very how fluid. It not only fluid, but I find it was very creative, like, if you look at the animation it does to get into those narrow spaces, the way the head, like, re... like, changes spots on the body and everything, I was just, like, damn, I like this. Pretty big areas. Hey, sorry to be gone for so long. Here you go. Welcome back. Hey, I, mean, I kind of heard Raven. Oh, fantastic. Well, but to be fair, uh, you know, all this dread was apparently terrible for my intestines. So here we are. I'm finally back. 
Uh, v, I was gonna say, d there should be like a, a standing shoot like at a direction. Yeah, part. yeah, yeah, I know. Hell, this isn't even new stuff. It was technically present in like Super Metroid. I know, and I ri and I never use it in Super Metroid. <laughs> I was gonna say V wanted to do it the old way of running and gunning. Well, sorry, jumping and gunning. But Correct. this isn't Mega Man. It's a platformer, come on. Fine. Oh, by the way, did you have a look at the uh, the intro message? No. I, I felt <laughs> particularly clever with that okay. one. I'm gonna take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that was good. Uh, that, uh, uh, I heard my butt punch in that one. Oh, come on. <laughs> Same. <sighs> like, bro, did you really just? I mean, yes, I did really just do that. Because why not? <laughs> why not? They give you the tools you. for it, may as well use them. That is true. It's back here again. You know, I gotta find like a horror game that would actually spook UV. <laughs> Good luck with that. I know, I realize like I'm setting myself up with an impossible task there, but you know. They're out there. But it's also what kind of spook? Jump scare spook or atmosphere spook? Yes. Well, the I've just thought of one, and I don't even want to talk about it, because... And, like, just for context, I played through this one, start to finish... I don't even know the name of it. I played it at a friend's place. And... I still feel weirded out by it. Hmm. That even got me furious. I'll send you a method. Oh boy. Oh, that one. See, now I'm curious. Uh, oh, okay. So, I'm gonna talk I remember about... the title, by the way. Oh, what's the title? Among the Sleep, I think? I think ah. you're right. Yes. I remember, I remember watching my player play that. So, on the flight, um, trigger warning, I guess, you play as a child. I don't know how young the kid is. That has some fairly intense parental PTSD going on. Yeah. Pretty much the other baby, considering. Yeah. And the yeah, baby. that... That was like... It, it wasn't the worst offender, but it was... something. You were uncomfortable. Yes, I was very uncomfortable. Ooh. Man, those little fucking flying face plates there just annoying as all hell. You uh decide to get out of dodge as soon as you could. Blame him. No, I, d I don't blame V really. It's a smart move. Rival. Yep. Alright, so, um, since I, I, you know, I've been gone for a bit, I'm assuming we haven't, uh, dealt with the green yet, have we? Nope. Okay, yeah, so it's still round and kicking. Yep. And now we've also seen yellow. Yellow? Oh, that wasn't, that was still green? 
Yeah, we we all missed oh. green. My bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Raven. Uh, look. Oh no, I spoiled the color when we discovered there were some different colors other than white. And How I mean, it you? does reveal that there's like what? Yeah, that, that right at the beginning of the game, there's like no seven. Oh, seven. <laughs> Yeah, there are. If you seven. look on the top of the box, the, they're, they're all, all there. there. Did you mean Adam does mention at some point that there are six other enemies at some point? Yep. I, I think it's. Your... I don't remember what the speedrun named the, the broken one. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Whoops! That yep. doesn't help. Nope, does not. Yeah, I'm not even pushing the right button to try to counter it. I'm just like, yeah. Flailing button, baby. See, I'm really glad that, like, so, you know, I, I was gone on a hunting trip for four days. Today being the fourth day, really. Um... And I'm really glad that at no point, while holding a loaded gun, did I go, whoops, wrong button. <laughs> oh my god, Raven! <laughs> wow, oh that's god. pretty hard. Oh, all I'm saying is I'm glad that, that didn't happen. He can move. I sting you. Oh, um, so I don't know if you've heard, but uh, the, one of the first things V said looking at the Emmy design was they look like um, mosquitoes, mosquitoes <laughs> without knowing about the sting. Really? <laughs> yup. Yep. How did V foreshadow himself? I, I don't know, man. Like, just it fucking happened. The gift. Fucking well, see. So, V, are you planning on the 100 percenting the game? I have no idea right now. I, I wouldn't... Like, I don't know if you should or should not do it. But you should attempt it, at least. I'm betting he will do Dread Mode. Gonna happen. Or at least attempt it. There, V. It will happen. Whoa. You know, it's like doing dungeons at minimal eye levels. Of course it is. Ah. It got too close. Oh, Ooh. shit! Got Ooh. the counter. Nice. You realize you could have gotten out, right? When you yes, stunned the door. Okay. Just want to make sure that you knew that option was available to you. Yep. I realized after I <laughs> the other way. <laughs> it's like, oh wait. But maybe I figured out the counters. Oh maybe. god, BB. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, look, I, I looked at BB's comment. I was like, I don't have the brain power to process that right now. <laughs> So while we're waiting for V to figure himself I out, here, uh, update from Beatbox: Sigare Ijiri for the PS1 just play it. Senpai Wenpai and Biki San just want to see glorious chaos. Ooh, oh uh, boy! Uh, and the voice, don't I? Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. Sigare Ijiri for the PS1. Just play it, Senpai Wenpai. And Biki san just wanna see glorious chaos you 
<laughs> I am sa I'm satisfied with that. That's pretty pretty solid performance right there. You're welcome. Thanks. Um, so you know the. There's something interesting here, and I'm gonna, like, maybe it's surpri not surprising to some people, but I always feel like it's surprising. Like, it's I surprise myself, and not necessarily in a good way. Um, because, obviously, I'm a gamer, I like technology, part of my job at Costco is talking about computers and all that fun jazz. Two members. Um, and, you know, like, I'm into anime and all that, but I'm also... Fair, like a little bit into sports, I'm into the economy and politics and all that fun jazz. Like, and so you know, a fairly diverse person, and yet I go spend four, like four days into the woods, and all I can think of, and during those four days, for the most part, is her. I want to shoot my gun at a furry thing with antlers. Oi. I guess technology withdrawals were hitting you hard. To be fair, so long as I was at the top of the mountain, I had signal. Bad stomper. Yep. And uh, baby, can you take a quick peek of that game? That's the one you brought into uh, Richard Book Club, didn't you? Oh, that's why she wants to see. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. uh, uh, let me put it to you this way: it's weird. I'm not surprised. Of course, it's weird. Oh, and, and speaking it has of weird, Jap games over. Yeah. Um, well, Satine is having, uh, usually on Wednesdays he has uh, the WTF stream or kind of bringing in weird games. They said the next one should be uh, the, like a shoot em up, uh, set, shoot em up uh, games. So some people decided Herodias, Gradius. Uh, I thought my contribution should be a uh, Choaniki. I was gonna say, would. there's one in our shuffler that I don't remember the name of. <laughs> Which is I a most it. egregious title. Yeah. Now, did you know that uh, Cho and Nikki have an RPG? What? I yep. need to play it. I suck at shmups, but RPGs, let's go, baby. Uh, I believe he also... Oh, fuck. It also has a uh, Street Fighter like game, except when he's flying. Huh. Makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah, we, you know, weird stuff. Big brain time from V. He's like, where do I go? What do I do? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Oh, hey, Kestrel. Mother's hmm. Basement released a new video. Okay. Oh boy. And the image and the title made me go, oh boy, we're in for a fun time. Mm -hmm. The uh, title was geek. Building a Better Goku. Oh fuck. Ah, yeah. yeah. There. And the image was a very insane looking Gojo. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Now, most of the episode is not about Gojo, but there's a very distinct breakdown about what kind of Goku-esque character Gojo is.
You know what I did to Hake last night? Oh no, what did you do to Hake? I made her listen to the two opening of uh, season three. English? Uh, in English. Oh, you're a piece of shit. No way. Whoa, Jonathan Young is an amazing artist, but god damn. But it's also the first opening of season three of Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, the writer of the song said it's Gojo talking to Ghetto. Well, yeah, of course. And the second opening, I refuse to believe otherwise that it's basically Ghetto's answer. Yes, it is absolutely Ghetto's answer. So now that she uh, is aware of the English meaning, she's like, everything hurts. Yup. My feels. Mm-hmm. Trust your instincts, Fox. Never give up. <laughs> you know, the worst part is, technically, if we discard races, like, this game, well, this series, the Metroid Prime series, and the Star Fox series could coexist in the same world, technically. True. Purely on genre. Because Samus is all about that in-person gun-shooting action. Versus Star Fox is all about being in the vehicle. No, you're um, forgetting about Assault and Adventure. Ah, uh, you just had to go and piss into my crackpot fury corn flakes, didn't you? <laughs> He's a bit. What else were you expecting? A bit of compassion and decency, honestly. <laughs> Barely we're in the wrong place. Y you should hear how we burned Polk. Uh. Oh. S I think it was Saturday. Please. What happened? Fuck did I miss Saturday? Um when I joined the stream, Hulk was playing Home Alone 2 on I don't know I don't remember which console Genesis. it is. It's a bad game. There you go, Genesis. Right. And we were, you know, teasing them about the fact that they used to speedrun the game and all that. Right. And how come the game is not finished? Completed. Done. <laughs> yup. But later, uh, the shuffler switched to Lion King. Oh. And I was saying, you know, if it would have switched to that game while I was playing, that game would be done. Ooh. And V ah. went, well, that's what Polk says too about Home Alone. And immediately I just go, yeah, but I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Or I can do it, or something like that. <laughs> wow, you fucking chose violence, madame. <laughs> you the grave for that bird. <laughs> wow. Oh. Ouch. Yo, Mizu, chill the fuck out, girl. <laughs> It's freaking ravaged that hard. See, when people say maul me daddy, <laughs> they don't mean it like that. Who did not set up a safe word? Your safe word is home alone. Oh. <laughs> But you're only allowed to use it once you've beaten the game. Oof. In the bright time, they could get passed through some of the trickier bits. Now that it's still mm. tubes, it's a park. Probably oh, park.
I just keep running in circles, don't I? Just a little bit. Uh, yeah. That's a big area. I I'm sure you'll find your way of eventually. Oh, yeah. We'll make it through the wilderness. We're gonna get ourselves killed. Hey, that's a new thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh my lord, is that usually the activation phrase? Not the safe word. Whenever that's parents or roommates, it's still applicable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, teenagers are happy to be home alone because that means they can usually take, like, you know, rub one out or jerk one out, whatever. Parents are happy to be home alone because they can get get the nasty going while the kids are away. And when you've got a roommate, just being home alone means that you finally have some peace and quiet. Alright. <laughs> Not That's safe for word. word. I love it. Boy. You know what, Beak? The that sentence is just, just so beautiful. I've gotta, I've gotta share it. Unless you have a third party and you banish your roommate to be a resident of Sexile. Now the where the heck was Shadow Game? Hi, Ba. I banish you to never getting laid. <laughs> I banish you. In a friend zone. Oh god, he would do that, wouldn't he? That would like so <laughs> if we're talking like original Yami Yugi, like original starting run of the manga of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh -huh. Yami Yugi was a fucking murderous prick who basically whenever like people got like lost games against him, wouldn't always die, but they would always suffer in a horrible way, one yeah. way or the other. And sometimes well, that resulted in death, but it always resulted in something specifically horrible to the person being affected. Well, like I still remember. Being a horrible prick, but he always did it to people who quote unquote deserved it. Sure, but he was also still circumventing the justice system completely. Yeah. Uh, regardless, my point is that to give an example, one guy uh, who was a greedy TV producer ends up uh, not being able to see properly anymore. He can only see an advertisement oh. and um, like basically like his vision gets no. really fucked up and tormenting. Actually, what he did here is that he was, um, he was quote unquote making blackmail material or getting uh, pervy videos and seeing all of the censor their, their faces in mosaic and post after that so nobody can actually come back after us afterwards. So the point right. at the end is that his whole vision goes mosaic. I forgot about that, his whole vision goes mosaic. There you go, that, that's what it was. But yep. anyways, uh, what I was going to get at, though, is, in this case, um, like, Yugi banishing Kaiba to, you know, that kind of judgment situation, is Kaiba forever being in love but friend-zoned by Yugi? Uh... Thirsty one there. 
I'll play the original, it's also a case where, uh, well, in the manga it was a case, but in the anime, that's one of the few that actually escaped the Pharaoh's judgment. I, like, okay, I never finished watching the original season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I'm missing, like, I think, like, the full last season or something like that. Huh. Um, Regardless. Zero. But I'm about to see, kind of would have been that uh, around episode 12 or 13, but yeah. Um, it was the first time in the anime where they showed the dual monsters, of course. And, uh, Kaiba actually escapes by pulling a draw. Oh. Yes, he, he saw a moment where he thought, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. Oh wait, this squid face is open. I can put a card here, and I'll break the whole board. And yes, the table snaps in two. Jesus. Yeah. I do not remember this at all. It's not in the manga. It's only in the anime when that happens. Oh, fuck. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But in the manga, yeah, no, he loses and uh, he gets shadow game, he gets tormented by monsters. That's why yeah, I remember the, uh, that bit. Yeah. I have no yeah. idea what any of you are talking about. So, do you remember Yu Gi Oh? Like the, or the anime with the card game? I know what Yu-Gi-Oh is. Okay, so, I guess, let's put it this way. In the, what most people know is the anime, the main character solved this mystical item that becomes the, like, golden triangle that he always wears around his neck. Using, that had the spirit of a pharaoh trapped inside of it, and whenever he's in a dangerous situation, he switches to the pharaoh's soul to play card games and shit like that and to basically win better but in the original manga the pharaoh actually played murder games with people on a fairly regular basis with people who deserved it mind you but yeah he was pretty murderous prick looking to make people suffer for their sins yeah, um, I will add in some extra context here. It's kind of also why the game, the name, the anime, or the whole series, the Yu Gi Oh! Because in Japanese, Yu Gi Oh! means the king of games. There was a yep. lot, lot, whole lot of pub games, card games, the tabletop games. Like yeah, that. that's the thing. It's all sorts of different games, not just a card game that uh, Yu Gi plays. Now, one of the things I thought was really interesting is one of the times Yugi is fighting, well, Yugi, uh, Yami Yugi, I should say, the Pharaoh, um, is actually fighting against a group of gangbangers. Oh. And he lures them into a. Um, how to put this? He lures them into an abandoned warehouse that is dripping water everywhere with tires everywhere and there's one guy that's already passed out that he beat up manually and he tells the group when they enter if you can find the bomb i'll let you do whatever you want to me but if you can't find it you're all going to die they fail at finding the bomb because what the bomb was was the passed out guy's arm was propped up with a stun gun ready to go and the moment his arm dropped and hit the floor it fell into a puddle of water that covered the whole area Yugi on the other hand was standing on a tire yep let's <sighs> um, see at one point he made the uh, let's say this here little ice hockey well the kind of hockey paddle game where oh, they had yeah. a hot plate heated up and they had an ice puck with a, with a, a, a black test tube full of natural glycerin and the two of them had to pass the puck to each other as, as the puck started melting over the hot plate and loser pretty much explodes. Yup. Yami Yugi had, had a... Mm, Inventive Questions. ways to punish people. Oh, yeah. To be fair, there's another one I remember is him spray painting a platform that was over the water with no exit. A uh, basically spray painted a, uh, a maze and then lit the 
paint on fire and let the bunch of guys try to run around and try to get out before they burn to death. Yep. But then again, compared to what Yami Bakura was doing at the time... Oh yeah, Yami Bakura was like way fucked. Yami Bakura's whole game was uh, tabletop RPG with little mini figurine, except that uh, he trapped the souls of the people he fought against into the figurines and the dice he was playing with. The souls trapped to serve him for eternity. Yup. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, he pulled a simply to uh, Yugi and all his friends. But didn't realize that Yugi that had a second person inside of him, and so the game continued. It was. I guess um, one trick. thing you could maybe check the since you've been running around there a bit in circles. Uh, have you considered going back to Arteria? Well, did he gain anything? Well, how do I get back to Arteria? Oh shit, can you not get back from... No. Oh no, you're right, you can't get back there. I, I've tried getting back to over here, because, mm. you know, I noticed, oh hey, I can actually go in this room now. But, the, uh, every path is blocked by the little crawl spaces. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be an issue. Absolutely be an issue. Um, and I'm assuming you haven't found the, um, the brain eye thing to kill the Emmy. I have not. And I am trying to look through the map here of a space that does not have a little, like, the crawl space here that I have not explored yet. And I'm just not seeing one. And what's the yellow room in the middle? <clears throat> Map station. Oh, okay, so that's map station, yeah. Um fuck, I'm trying to spin so it's been a while since like I've only like last since I beat the game I haven't replayed it, so I'm I'm running off of some pretty yeah, I'm old trying memory. To think too. I feel uh, like the space in the middle of the Emmy area that's unexplored might be the key, but it looks like it's all crawl space access. Yeah. It's... There is a door to your right, that one. Uh, can't oh. open that one. Yeah, yeah I, I just saw it. Thing in front of it. Yeah. The same as whatever that is. Yeah, no, you can't open that yet. Hmm. Okay, so why? Alright. Oh, uh... By the way, uh, I remember when I was talking about the WB for uh, a bit there? Yep. Yeah, um, well, I just got this tidbits on uh, Twitter. Um, so listen to here, um, Congressman Joaquin Castro is calling for a federal investigation to the Wanderer for his handling of Coyote vs. Acme. And here's the quote, The tactic of scrappy films for tax breaks is predatory and anti-competitive. It's like burning down the building for the insurance money. That's so ironically on the nose, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is kind of exactly what it is. Oh, it is. It is. Absolutely. Okay, so that's a door I can get for those to a bad space anyway. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, it's so I, I'm glad it's not just me. If you, if you guys can't read, uh, I remember running around in circle at this point in the game. I'm just trying to think if let's. I'm trying to remember if there is at any point where you needed to do like a short hell run to get to somewhere. No, no. Uh, bottom left corner, like okay, just a little bit more to. Oh it's, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was gonna can't. say it's a red door. Red um, door, okay, can't do that. What about all the way to the left, uh, right by the, that yellow door? That yellow room, all the way to the left? That, uh, can't get in there. Oh, oh, because the yellow and room is, uh, is not something we've done, yeah. No. Right yeah, I can't get in. Hmm. Crawl spaces. 
because it looks like I have to get there from down here. Right. Which is locked by crawl space. Um, to the internet. Can you go <laughs> up for, Can you go to the bits of left? Um. Somebody else could. Go a little bit more to the left and you're up. It seems like you've got a symbol for what. Uh, a little higher. To the left. Got a symbol for the what's the central unit. That's probably what you need to go at some point. But right, need... which I feel like I I feel like this is where I need to go right here. Yeah, but you can't get there there at the moment. But and how? What about the upper section? A little what, bit higher. What's what's the last um? This. No item you got. Is it the phantom cloak? Yep. Yes. Yeah, this cash roll is basically going to be like going from there to see like what you've missed. Oh god. Uh, Have you been. Like you. You arrived here, you redirected the thermal flow. But you haven't left this area at all ever since then, right? No. Just. 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 The father drained in my man. Does that mean that. Uh, Kessel so has finally turned into. Can you hear me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Kessel couldn't hear that because you know it's great. <laughs> what? Well, you heard the can you hear me and you said no. Oh. Ha ha ha. Well, yeah, I am very funny. I'm very clever. How many thermal flow did you... I don't Okay. I want to say at least two. I... I just turned on this elevator thing right here. You know, well, if you turn on your map, we can see how many... Okay, so you've right, got don't, one don't there. Don't move your map for a second. I'm trying to... Like, this, this is the last thing I did, is where my cursor is. Okay, let me... Because you can't do anything in this place anymore. Uh, you you need to head to a new zone. I'll, I'll at least say that. Uh... No, that's not that. I mean, I figured, I would, you know, there wasn't much else to do here, it's, but where's the way out? Doctor, doctor, and if... give me the news, I gotta get out of loving you. And if no one else is able to really say, oh, you just go here, then I don't feel so bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, yeah, I no, I, I remember being stuck in this area for a while as well until I figured it out. And even then, like, it took me way longer than I was have comfortable you, with. I don't think you've drained... Have you drained lava? I think that was the last thing I did. Maybe. Because where your cursor is... Uh, you, yes. Like, you see around it, there's... Yeah. I did drain that. You might want to go back in there because they're. progress there. She says, "Don't Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to share a thought uh, regarding the Emmy, the Emmy areas. I feel like they did, and I don't know if this is true or not. This is just a feeling. But that they did the same thing that Alien Isolation did. Where the AI for the thing that's chasing you is divided in two. One of the um, AIs always knows your exact location. The other AI is just 
uh, but can only give hints versus the other AI doesn't know where you are at all, but is using those hints to try and find you. Alright, so I didn't see any obvious paths. Yeah, I didn't see anything either on my end. You're... So. Uh, you need to be on the other side. Yeah, how do you- how do I get to the other side? That's a question, isn't it? I've been looking at how to get to that other okay. side. This um... entire time. Because <laughs> I want those E-Tanks. Uh, open your map. One second, you... I have something I was gonna say, it. when you're not... Who's panicking? The Emmy. Raven. Yes, Raven's panicking. Thanks. I appreciate you mentioning that. Open your map. No. Come on. Jump, 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 jump. Slide, jump, slide. slide. Yeah, I was gonna make the We're reference. Right here, mate. But that's where I'm trying to yeah, go right now. You have to shoot through the ceiling. Alright, now there's a block there that wasn't there before. I'm just... so, me being bad, that's the usual. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a subtle hint right there. There you go. Yeah, I, so we'll just talk it up to me being the usual bad that I am. Nope. Fuck you. The whole lot of experience is more on your little big Yup. Look, I had been staring at that ceiling like, how do I break that for the longest time? <laughs> and I'm just like, why didn't I do that? Okay. You, know, you, you clearly forgot the, un the, the engineer's credo. Oh, if you you've see, got a problem, build a gun. And if that don't work, is... build a bigger gun. The thing is, I thought I had shot it several times and nothing had happened. Hmm. Well, clearly... I think it's the lava needs to be cold before you can shoot it. Because I had shot it before the lava and I'm like, oh, there's nothing there then. Aha! You want yourself out of an upgrade. What now? Nothing. I was just being a dick. Oh. So nothing important, obviously. Right. Correct. Maintaining status quo. Well, the status quo is that I am butt fuck tired, so I am uh, gonna go to bed now. Tired. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't Be say... Me turning into Bane saying I was molted by the tired. <laughs> Look, we're talking relative tired. My crash mode affects me. Your lack of sleep affects you. How we both choose to deal with the situation is entirely up to us. And I am going to deal with it with the most productive way possible, which is sleeping. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Yep, I agree. But I will continue watching Devod once I'm gone, so feel free to play as long as you want. Actually, I'm just gonna start playing off stream, so I'm gonna stop streaming now and <laughs> miss everything. Oh, alright then. Yep. Alright, well, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Elevator. 
It's not an elevator, it's a tr like tramway. Is that the term? Scenery is nice. Yes. There's a hidden thing I missed. I don't care right now. <laughs> you probably can't even get it anyway. Look, I I'm running on like an hour of sleep. Sam is just waiting. <laughs> Does this suit come with an MP3 player? Probably. We just can't hear it. Sam is in chair for actually. I'm gonna say we can hear it because the music that we hear in the game is music she's listening to as she explores. Because <laughs> what areas in the middle of nature have music playing as you explore? Okay. True. True. You can't hear it because it's not a front key. We're not the first person. I was gonna say, I believe in UV. I don't. Well, I now's, do. Now's not the time to believe. That looks like speed booster. Speed booster in my Metroidvania? That's, that's inconceivable. Unpossible. That hurt. Considering I have a bachelor in, you know, language and stuff, yes. Yeah. I like the save rooms, they're neat. Yes. The map rooms are also pretty. There's the crumble blocks. Did you miss those? Yes. Let's see. Ooh, it's dark. Yeah. Oh, now I'm getting reminded of the wrecked ship. <laughs> Look, the the way Samus glows because of her armor I found just neat. Yeah, that was pretty good. The the, the suit might not come with the tree player, but she comes with a night light. Yes. I just don't wanna see Fantoon. That much is with a cartoon back in Mercy, alright. This one's hurt. Ooh, first death that I see. Parkour. Four. 
With the wide beam. Mm hmm. How else are you gonna sh. Nah. You'll see. <laughs> Shoot those blocks. Yes. <laughs> you know, the thing that had three things. So, the, uh, my issue with this, this is not wide beam, this is shitty beam. <laughs> also known as the spacer. It is spacer. So, not so shitty, shitty beam. No, it comes in handy. <laughs> there, now I can go back to that other place and move those blocks. Yes. Which is probably what I'm supposed to do now. Backtracking in my Metroidvania? No. And <laughs> Illegal move. That's always progress. You're having too much fun. I mean, am I not supposed to be? Nah. It's true that Raven isn't here to be spooked, so I guess you're allowed. Yeah, now now we can start enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Speed booster. But we already knew that. Because it's yellow? No, because we saw speed booster blocks. Can't let you do that, Samus. Okay, so there are there are two different ways, I think. That I can deal with that guy. I'm stuck here until I get wave beam or, or speed booster, aren't I? No, this door. I say door, this block. Yep, yeah, this block in progress. Back onto the subway. Oh, uh, Kestrel, I went through with uh, Slay the Spire and unlocked all the characters from that mod. Oh, I've unlocked the Knight is the last one I've unlocked. I'm playing with it right now. Like, uh, I, I have a run started, is what I mean. The, uh, <laughs> I, I have a favorite so far because, well, oh man, it gets, it can get silly. Right now, I'm really liking the knight with his uh, berserker in defense mode. Okay. But uh, I'm I, I still mean, curious to see everything else. Do you want me to tell you the one that I like, even though you haven't seen it yet? Sure. I mean, there's like what four or five more. One more. Which one is your favorite? Sneko. What the? It's one of them? Interesting. Yeah. Sneko. Um, how... So how would you feel about uh, going through the game and basically in a single turn have, you know, end up getting like 30 or 40 cards? 
so your entire deck is what you're saying. <laughs> uh, more than that. Damn. Because there are there are either cards or abilities that are uh, whenever you exhaust a card, get a new card. Oh, I can see how ridiculous that would get. And it's just constant exhausting, and it's insane. Funny play on word you have there. There's the thing. I like how it brought back the rings. The first time I saw them, I was like, You tiny mother brain! How dare you! But obviously, the, they're a bit more stylized. We, I think we have like a lot of shots, a little fragile. That one a lot faster. Well, I mean, you you're shooting thrice. Yep. Which is just nice, because honestly, I forget pretty easily. Like pressing the wrong button? Correct. All the time. There he is. See how the head went under? Again, the movement of the enemy, I... Hi. You okay? Yeah, one second. That was gonna be pretty, uh, tight there. It was. I would've had it if I had aimed properly. Yep. Yeah. You would've done it if you had worked right back. Cole getting his revenge. Hey, more fall. Absolute luxury.
All right, that's cool though. Mm-hmm. That you can do. What is it? All right, what was the what was the thing? Hmm. Maybe I read it wrong. You mean the ledge grab and into a uh, no? It, well, it says when you're sliding, you can go into more fall there. in those tight spaces. <laughs> Does it bother you? A little bit. Someone uh, working tomorrow morning? And also this morning. Alright, let me... I don't know where I'm going, so bear okay. with me. Well, looking to the Padmon in progress. Going to use search, but if you, if you run into one, yeah, please. Okay, he's asleep. Yeah, no, that's a map room. I'm like, ooh, yellow, that's a safe spot, right? <laughs> I mean, it is safe, but not the safe you're looking for. There. Hey, save room. Yay! Alright, now I'm gonna forget everything by next week. <laughs> we'll remember for you. I mean, you just got the morph ball, so all the checks are available to you, right? Yeah, yeah, the whole game's opened up. Yep. Yep. There's nothing stopping you now, except, you know, five more Emmys. You know, except they, uh, a Varia suit, a gravity suit, uh, the equivalent of an ice suit. Why would mm. you get that? You don't need those. Well, I mean, that's true. A little s fire singe on your armor never looked bad on anyone. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's why you go uh. in the cold parts, right? To cool down the molten armor? <laughs> yes. Right. But I'm assuming you're liking the game so far. I mean, so far, it's a nice classic Metroid feel. I mm -hmm. just, I don't like the joystick for the eh. movement. I, I want my D-pad. I was going to say, you're, you're, that's a generational difference. It's like, I give me my D-pad anytime, all the time. It's just, it feels so weird using like a joystick to move like that see i feel like the game did it really well i wasn't being put off by it the, the game did do it well i've played other games where it forces it and it is not done well but mm. this they they did a good job with it at this game it still doesn't feel right 
it's good for what it is, but you still wish you had the D-pad control. Right, I wish they had, it'd be nice if they had the option to swap it. Hmm. Mm. Uh, but this is what we have so far. I mean, I can un I can kind of understand it the way they do the full three si three hundred and sixty degree shot. You know the shot radius. The aiming. Yeah, you you can't do that with a D pad. No, not as quick and well or precise in a sense. Mm -hmm. Right. So I get it. Yeah. But you still wish. I I still prefer the D pad. Mm. Gotta get in with the times, V. Whatever. Ooh, and thank you for the cheer! Woo! Thank the you! The controller. Yeah, we yeah, need that's... to get you a new. Yeah, we Kestrel, need you need to get you a new controller. The drift. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the drift at the beginning was bad. Also, Devil yeah. Hunter, that also means uh, two more picks for the shuffle if you want. Yeah, throw in a couple games. Please, for the, the kind of funds, please. Now, you, uh, say, yeah. you, you so just a reminder, we can now do uh, Atari, Jaguar, and Arcade. Yep. Along with most of this system, I believe. Um, one thing to note about the Arcade games is not all of them will work. Uh, some of them do not load properly. Yeah. With uh, with his hawk, so that's something to keep in mind. If you do want to give us an arcade game, have a backup ready just in case. Yeah, we may need to test it before we go, and we may come back to you uh, to notify you. Oh, by the way, uh, V, I can't seem to be able to uh, edit the list of the shuffle. That's why I tried earlier, and I couldn't seem to add it. Uh, so I just want big PP. Ah. I do oh, that's a good question. Yeah. I think we can look more into uh, at another point here, but for that mention. I you need some like on my side. Oh yeah. Glad you're having a good time. Can't wait to see more. Yeah, I, I'm in, I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to more. Yeah. Um, I gotta ask Kistrel, uh, is Raven still away for next Saturday? No. Alright, most likely we'll be continuing on, on Lufia 2 at that point? Yeah, sh nothing should be in the way of that. Good, good, good. I I'm just not gonna be present for it because I'm working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the new schedule and all that. And... Do let us know about your days off, because uh, we if we've got the time for Final Fantasy VI. Even if it is like the off schedule, you can still try to find. Oh it. yeah, I'll I keep mean, you guys updated with my schedule. You don't want to go too long without going through it, especially yeah. with where you left off. Hmm. Good stuff. Well, oh, you're, you're at a you're at a part where it's like I I must see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where should I drop us off to? Costi is doing Doom 2, yeah. Joker is doing Mother 3, Koopo is doing Where the World is Carmen in San Diego, and Okami is currently doing Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, I'm good with Doom. It Doom? fits. You know what? I, I, yeah. yeah, that's the crossover between Metroid and Doom sounds about right. All right. See, that'd be a crossover I'd play. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine. All right. And hey, thank you for coming and watching here. It's always it's a always pleasure to have you, Wolf. Indeed. Until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah, have a good night. Week.